Okay, this is a video of how you can copy and paste inside the GNU slash Linux system. And more specifically, this is how I copy and paste in i3 on my Debian uh, box. So this is how you can do it. Um, right now we're in the home directory. So I'm going to go into this little um, test directory that I made. Okay, so that has some video files. It also has a couple EPUBs. Um, so how can you copy and paste? Well, before you might have um, highlighted this with your mouse and then right clicked and it doesn't do anything. Um, and then click copy and then paste and all of that. Or maybe you highlighted it and hit control V, but if or control C, if you control C, and it doesn't really do what you want it to. Okay. So how can you copy and paste things inside this? Well, there is a little command called CP, and we're gonna it might as well be called CF, but it's it's called CP, and I think of it as control file. Um so Maybe I want to uh, copy land. So copy land of Lisp EPUB tab if you don't already know for auto autofill uh, CP land of Lisp. And then what do I want to copy it to? Um, maybe I want to copy it to just Lisp dot EPUB. Okay. All right. So there it is. Lisp dot EPUB. All right. Well, that's. That's basically how you do it. So we made a copy of it. But that's how you make a copy of it in the same directory. Maybe you want to move it and copy at the same time. Um, and this is how I suggest moving files inside Linux um, or GNU slash Linux is how you should, instead of using the move file, which I can also show you, but um, you should probably use copy. And that's what I try to do too. So I'm going to copy the land of Lisp. And I'm going to copy it to, maybe I want to go to my um, just home directory. So I copied that. Um, and so now I'm going to go to my home directory. And lo and behold, there is land of list because I moved it. I, ma I, mo I made a copy and I moved it to my home directory. Well, I've decided I don't really want land of list there. So I can remove the land of list by um, just rm, remove file. And I remove that, and there it's gone. Okay, so be careful with remove. Um, it might not be like other things where you move it into the you know trash bin if you're used to Windows, or I think Mac has that too, where you move it to the recycling bin or whatever, um, and then it's not really deleted. It's just moved into the recycling. Um, or it's removed into the bin, and then you have to empty the bin. This really does delete the file, okay? So it, it assumes that you know what you're doing and that you can actually delete files. Okay, now let's go back to test, um, and let's open this up. Okay, so that's just a single file, okay? And um, there's, there's a good chance that it's going to come up where you want to copy maybe everything, or you want to copy a certain type of thing. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. So let's, I want to make a copy of every EPUB in this directory. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to press star dot EPUB. Uh, so copy EPUB. And then I want to go, I want to put this, anything that's an EPUB, I want it in the home directory. I want to move it all in there. I want to make copies of it. Okay, so I do that. And then I'll change directory. I open this up and there it is. Okay, so there is all my EPUBs that have now moved into um, my home directory. Well, I don't actually want them there, so I'm going to remove them the same way. I'm going to remove all of the EPUB files inside the, this. Again, be careful, it really does delete them. It really does remove them. So let's go back into test and what else can I show you? Okay, so that's copy. I just showed you remove RM and I told you I could um, also mention the move. So you can press MV, and maybe I want to move uh, Lisp 3. Um, EPUB. Okay. I'm going to move that, and I want to move it to home.user. Okay. So I'll move that there. Actually, I don't. I think we already made a copy, so that might not work. Let's see. Nope, it's there. Okay. So that's how you can move it. Um, I typically don't do that. I, 
I really, and I suggest no one else do that either, not for anything that would be of importance, because you really do want to make copies of things, um, moving them, because um, I can speak from experience that you can sometimes move things into directories that don't exist, and that's very disappointing. If it's a, an important file to you, you want to be sure that you're moving a copy and not the actual original file. It can be somewhat disappointing um, in the end. So the, um, what I usually use the move file is if I want to rename something. So maybe I want to rename Lisp, uh, Lisp2 and I want to rename it um, Lisp2. Uh, T O O dot EPUB. So that's that's the same as just renaming something. Okay. So that's usually how I use the um, move thing. I use it as a renaming. Um, and you can also use copy that way, but that's how I practically use the move. So um, highly suggest that you use uh, CP instead of MV um, instead of just um, move all the time. Okay. So I think that's it. Uh, I showed you how to basically copy things into other directories and how to, um, that is essentially copying and pasting at the same time, and how you can do that with all the different files, how you can remove all types of files. Um, now, I think that's pretty good. So now I'm gonna show you a program called Ranger. I don't know if you already have it. So if you don't, um, you can use sudo or you can log in as root and I want to go to apt get install ranger and it's not going to do anything for me because I already have it um, so let me exit there oops now um, now I'm going to show you that you could use ranger to move around and to copy things and this is actually how I usually, I, I like to just kind of float around in Ranger. I find it pretty helpful. Um, so let's go back to test and see, um, well, I should say, you can go up and down with the Vim, Vim-like bindings with J and K and go up and down. And you can use L to go to the right. You can use H to go to the left or back forward. Um, so just the usual... Um, oops, just the usual um, them like bindings. So, uh, how can you copy and paste here? Well, here they use Y, which is the old school yank. Um, that's what they used to call it. They used to call it yank. So, I can press Y and then it gives me some options. I'm going to press Y. So, YY yanks it, which is copying it, and go back. And then you can press P. And it's, says some other th options you can do, but I'm just gonna press P for paste. And here you can see this is like the traditional copy and paste. Okay, so um, I find this pretty helpful too. If I'm like, oh, where did I put that file? I can't remember. Oh, I think it's in here. So here's my um, homomorphisms and factor rings that I have to read. So I can make a copy right there. Okay. Well, how do I change that? Maybe I don't want to. Maybe I don't want that 26 there or whatever. So you can press C W, which changes um, changes the wording, I guess. Um, so I can change this to homo and rings dot PDF. Okay. So I can change the name to homo and ring dot PDF, and that just changes the name right there. Um, so yeah, I think Ranger's um, a pretty awesome program. I um, I find it pretty helpful. Um, I I do I do like the traditional, um, just uh, GNU way of moving around, moving files and stuff. Especially if I'm moving a lot of files, I find that much more um, helpful. Um, but here you can see that I have just over you know the decades or whatever i have downloaded so many mp3 files and ripped you know all of my old cds that i had in high school and college and all that um so you know this is an absolute mess but um 
so whenever I move or whenever I do a new distro or whatever, I always just say, hey, any MP3 in this file, uh, which I know I should use AUG, but um, any MP3 in this uh, folder, uh, I want to carry it with me. So that's usually how I do it. I have an external hard drive and every MP3 comes with me. And then um, most music programs, um, even terminal-based ones, are pretty good about sorting through the metadata and actually, you know, they understand the artist and they can sort through it too. Um, which is not the best way to do it, and I don't suggest, but that's the way it's ended up for me um, because I'm lazy. How can you delete files? Because I don't really want to keep homo and ring inside my uh, uh, home directory. So I'm going to delete this. I'll press D. It gives me a bunch of options, and I'm going to capital D for delete. This actually does kind of ask, are you sure you want to delete it? And yeah, I do want to delete it. Okay, so let's delete it. I'm going to delete this one too. Okay. Um, and I'll delete this one as well. All right. So uh, that is how to copy and paste inside i3 in Debian. Uh, there's probably other ways that I just haven't thought of, but that's the way I practically do it. And um, uh, for my, you know, daily use, yearly use, that that gets me through the days. Um, I can I can do everything I pretty much need, but. Let's not forget we're on the GNU system, so we can actually look up many different um, uh, many different options. So all of these I've shown have have their own manual page, so I can look up the manual for CP uh, copy files and directories. So here is all the um, all the options that you have here, and I I personally haven't even read this myself, which you know I should really take my own suggestion because there's probably something here that I could use that I don't know about. Um, so yeah, definitely take a look at, um, definitely take a look at that. You, you, I mean, for everything I've shown, you, there is a manual here. So you have a manual for just moving files. That's pretty awesome. You have a manual for uh, removing files. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. Um, so, you know, I highly suggest Looking at those, and I think I'm going to take my own suggestion. I'm also going to uh, read through these myself because I'm sure there's plenty that I could learn um, that uh, maybe I would even need to remake this video at some point after I read these. But um, that is practically how I do all of my moving of files and copy and pasting um, throughout my systems. Um, so I hope that helps you and, um, I hope you have a good day. Please post in the comments if there's anything that I could have shown or, um, explained better. Okay. Well, have a good morning.